Hey and welcome to week three. We're going to continue on by looking at some general cleanup, EQ, and compression. So I've got a clip in Premiere of me talking. I'm just going to right click and send it to Audition. So we've done a noise print. Other things you can do is there's diagnostics. So if you don't see it, it's under Window Diagnostics. And you have a declicker and a declipper. So the declicker, and you have presets here, you can pick light, medium, heavy, or default. And then what you do is you click scan, and it goes through, and you can click on these, select them. It will show you where they are. And I find sometimes this works and sometimes this doesn't. So you could go through and hit repair all and see if that sounds better. You also have the declipper. So if we had audio that was clipped, you could fix it here. I don't in this situation, but these diagnostics can be helpful. In this situation, I've got a couple clicks or pops here. I'll probably just auto heal them. So I'm just gonna hit plus to zoom in, find it. And then hit command U. I guess this control you on a PC to, to fix this. Okay, so then we would go and do our noise reduction, noise reduction, noise reduction process. Capture noise print, and then select entire. Okay. You saw there that there's another choice besides the regular noise reduction that we've been using. If you wanted to go up here, there's also adaptive noise reduction, which tends to be quicker, but is not as a deep clean. But basically you play this and you can hear that it kicks in. So you need a place where there's basically nothing there and then it's gonna kick in. So it does a pretty good job. Again, I don't find that it does a deep, as, a deep clean, but it is quicker, you don't have to tweak with it as much. And also it will work uh, in the multi-track. So if we were working in multi-track, uh, we could apply it to a whole track. When we're doing the uh, noise reduction we've been using, when we're doing the regular noise reduction process, it just works on the waveform level. So if we were in multi-track, we would basically step into the waveform. So just something to be aware of if you wanted to clean up basically a whole track, you could use adaptive noise reduction. Now this is the effects rack. We can apply the EQ from here. We could go to filter and EQ parametric equalizer. You could also go up here and apply it. There are also presets here. And what these are generally is a group of two to four uh, effects all laid out for you. So we could do you know, DS and limit mel voiceover, and it's going to give us a DSer and an EQ and a volume leveler and a hard limiter. And this, a lot of times, this might work. Let's just see what it does. So we could go in here for like the volume leveler, and we could pick medium soft, that kind of thing. And we could go to the hard limiter and basically, you know tweak this a little bit. So I seem to be hearing more noise with this. So in this situation, I probably wouldn't do this, but sometimes these presets will work. Okay, so let's just go and we wanna do the EQ. The only thing is it's not live here. We can't see it. So when we play it, uh, we don't see anything happening. What we could do is go to special and pick mastering. And there is 
the mastering settings here, which also does reverb and exciter, which can uh, make the voice sound a bit brighter. But we can click this low shelf. And so we've got a low shelf and a high shelf. So we could use this to roll off frequencies on the low end because generally anything like 80 or below uh, is going to be like a rumble sound. And then some of the high frequencies, if it's just voice, there just may be some noise in there. So we could come under here and we could pick reducer. You can see that it's basically rolling off the low and the high. You see here I can drag where the frequency is. I can change the amount. And then the cue here is basically how steep this is. So we could play it and kind of see what we're doing. So a lot of times you can do what I'm doing here. You can basically move this around and just hear it till it cuts off. So drag it too far like this and then take it back. Now I'm going to quit out of this. Let's say you want more control because this doesn't give you a huge amount of control. Um, what I'm going to do is I downloaded a free plugin and I'll just show you this real quick. There's this great website called pluginboutique.com and it lists all the free stuff. You can see here there's top downloads and top rated. And what I did was I picked the Blue Cat has a whole complete freeware. It's a whole suite. And, you know, it, it works great. So there's some good free stuff in here. We're just going to go back and I'll show you what it is. So there's an analyzer in here. So if I go back here and pick analysis, Blue Cat Audio, there's a mono and a stereo. And this is cool because this will just let us see what's going on by itself. All it does is uh, analysis. It's not doing anything else, but it lets us see it. And I could turn off peak here. And I can change if it's filled or transparent. But this is great because I can see exactly what's happening with my voice. And again, you can see there's nothing really down here, really under 100. So we're going to use that to see what we're going to use the uh, frequency analysis, to see what's going on. And then we're going to go under here. And then now we can go run our parametric. So we can basically just put these side by side. So now we can see what's going on. And the parametric gives you more controls than the mastering did. So I could go here and, you know, pick some presets. Again, you have generic low pass, which is basically going to ro roll off the high end. And high pass, same thing, high pass is going to roll off the low end. So again, you can tweak this. There's also settings, vocal enhancer. So this just this is generally a good place um, to kind of start for voices here like narration. You can see it's rolling off the low end and then it's cutting this so it's not boomy. And then around here, 4 and 5K tends to make it brighter. And this, so in this situation for me, I would probably come and drop some of this though because I'm not in a really controlled environment. But if you're in a more controlled environment, um, this might work for you. And we can just play it and see what's going on here. So I've found EQ to me is kind of like doing color correction. Uh, it generally helps everything. You're going to have to spend a lot of time. Unfortunately, there's not a, it's not a hard and fast rule. Again, there's certain frequencies like you want to use as a guide to kind of roll off and boost. But besides that, everybody's voice is going to be a little different. And so you're going to have to, you know, spend a little time working with it. But that's using the analysis and the EQ. So we could just close these. And then anytime, you know, you want to get them back, you just do double click here. So again, check out the free stuff. There's some pretty useful stuff in here. And, you know, if you don't have a lot of money, the, the free thing is great. It's a good way to check out things, see what you like before you start buying plugins. So this tutorial is running a little long, so I'm going to hit compression next week. So I hope this was helpful and see you guys next week.